with God. Does Jesus rule in the temple, the temple within? Is thy not right with God? Oh, is thy heart right with God? Wash in the crimson flow, cleansed and made holy, humble and lowly, right in the sight of God. Are all thy powers under Jesus' control? His thine heart right with God. Does he each moment abide in thy soul? His thine heart right with God. Oh, it's thine heart right with God. Hey, Lord, washed in the cream. The cream Consecration, prayer time, wherever you want to go and pray. We don't just stay in your seat. It's consecration time. Because we come for a blessing. We come for a touch. We come for a word. And so we're just going to give ourselves to the Lord and let him have his way. Is my heart right with God? Wash in the crimson Cleansed and made holy, humble and lowly, right in the sight of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's prayer time, everybody. Praise God.
Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Can I ask us to stand, please, and just involve our spirit to the higher spirit, which is the spirit of the Most High God, and begin to just love him. Begin to just express your love for this man as we entertain his presence, as we allow him to sit beside us, as we allow him to operate in us, as we allow him to be among us, as we ask him to lead us tonight holy spirit lord i praise you lord i bless your name lord i honor your name lord your name is holy your name is true your name is power your name is life lord i exalt you lord from the uprising of the sun until the down setting lord you are great lord you are powerful lord you are good lord your mercies are from everlasting to everlasting lord i thank you i thank you for life i thank you lord for your blessings all my faculties are alive Live. Oh, and I'm a part of your name this morning, this afternoon, and up until this minute. Lord, I thank you for leading me, for guiding me, for protecting me. Lord, I thank you. I'm the privilege to be in your house, in your presence, to honor your name, to bless your name, to glorify your name. Our Lord, be your name tonight, Lord. How about Father, thou art worthy. Good master, thou art worthy. Mighty God, you are worthy. Blessed be the name of the Lord, who is my strong tower, who is my all in all, who is my everything. I big you up tonight, Lord. I lift you up tonight, Lord. I glorify your name, King Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Son of the living God. And I welcome your presence. I welcome the Lord God Almighty. Be dominant of our service tonight, Lord. Be in charge tonight, Holy Spirit. Do as you please, Holy Spirit. And so give us receptive heart. Oh, Lord, to ready to work with you as we lift up your name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Lord God Almighty. The earth is full of his glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving my soul. Of the goodness of Jesus. Oh, and Lord, He has done for me. Yes, my soul cries out. Hallelujah. Oh, thank God for saving me. For I know it was the blood. I know. Oh. 
the mighty God. You don't need to worry. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, wave your hand in the sanctuary and just fan away the enemy. Ah, when you wake your hand in the atmosphere, you mash up some stuff. Because there are times that the enemy lingers above, above and below us. But when we know when we come in the name of Jesus, demons will have to flee. Because we come, almighty God, to lift up the name. Hallelujah. Oh, I am under the rock. We have to stay under the rock. Stay under the rock, which is Jesus. Ah, the enemy is upon our sword. But we have to have a defense. We have to have a defense. Bow your heads and close eyes, sister. Danny Wright is going to take us into prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to the sovereign God. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. We welcome you, Lord. Hey, we welcome you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a thing. What a friend do we have in Jesus. All our sins and the griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to the Lord in prayer. Father, we lift you up tonight. We exalt you. We magnify you. You are worthy to be praised, O God. From the rising of the sun unto the dawn setting, you are Lord. You are holy and righteous. Father God, as I am called tonight to do the prayer, O God, I pray, God, that tonight, Jesus, you will wash me, God. Let flesh be completely slain, O God, and you speak through me tonight, Father. I pray tonight, Almighty God, for a wash 
washing from the crown of my head, O oh God, to the very soles of my feet. I pray, God, if there be any sins, O oh God, that we fail to confess tonight, God, we confess them, O oh God, and we ask for your forgiveness because, God, you said in your words that we sin even, O oh God, when we think not, even in our very thoughts. Father God, tonight, as we are gathered in prior crusade, O oh God, we pray, God, that your Holy Spirit will tabernacle with us tonight. O oh God, we pray, God, for your Holy Spirit to rain down tonight, Father. We pray, God, that your oh Holy Spirit will run things tonight, God. O oh God, run the program tonight, Jesus. O oh God, we pray, God, and we place the atmosphere before you, Jesus. We pray, God, and we bind up every other forces, O oh God, that is not of you tonight, God. O oh God, we bind up, O oh God Almighty, tonight. O oh God, confusion tonight. We bind up, O oh God, every spirit of frustration tonight. O oh God, we bind up oppression and depression. And God, as we come into your presence, O oh God, we pray, God, that you will help us not to focus, O oh God, on whatever our situation may be. But God, help us to focus on you tonight, mighty God, because you are all that matters. O oh God, tonight I pray, heavenly God, that Lord, you will touch the man's servant, O oh God. O oh God, I pray, God, that you will touch the speaker tonight, God. O oh God, touch the moderator tonight, God. O oh God, touch the devoter tonight, God. Touch the musicians tonight, God. Touch the praise team tonight, God. I pray, God Almighty, that your Holy Spirit, God, will sweep through the benches. O oh God, every crease is and corner of this building, God. We pray, Almighty God, that your Holy Spirit, God, will saturate this place, God. I pray, Almighty God, that tonight, Jesus, oh God, deliverance will take place, God. Oh God, restoration will take place, God. Oh God, healing will take place, God. Oh God, I pray, God, that you will lift up a standard, God. Oh God, and let the enemies be scattered, God. For you said in your words, God, that when the enemy comes in like a flood, then the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. So God, we ask that you will lift up a standard in Glen Devon. Oh God Almighty, I pray that tonight will not be ordinary. Oh God, it will not be an ordinary night, but it will be an extraordinary night. Oh God, we will see your power in this place. Oh God, the songwriter says, sing until the power of the Lord comes down. So God, we're gonna sing tonight. Oh God, we're gonna worship tonight. Oh God, we're gonna pray tonight. So I pray God that worship will be easy. Oh God, I pray God that your Holy Spirit, oh God, will cut and clear. Oh God, the atmosphere, God. Oh God, we pray God that you will give the speaker tonight, God, the unction to function. Oh God, and we pray tonight, God, that Lord God Almighty, oh God, there will be no hindrance, oh God, tonight. Oh Father God, tonight we ask God that you will take complete control. Father, we ask Almighty God that you will lead and direct tonight. We worship you and we bless your name. We pray, God, for those who are joining us online, Almighty God. We pray, Almighty God, that they too, oh God, their hearts will be blessed, oh God, and those, oh God, in the reach of our voices tonight. Father God, have your own divine way. We look to you and we tell you thanks for all that you have done, all that you're now doing, and all that you're about to do in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, if you believe the name of the Lord through your servant prayer today, say hallelujah. Ah, if you come to receive from the Lord, say hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Put your hands above your heads and give him a round of applause. When we come in the house of the Lord, we have to be excited because we serve an excited God. We serve a mighty God. Aye. The trees and the animals and all that around us can't praise God like we do. 
Ah, he depends on us because all he asks is of us to give him the praise. Please stand, everybody, reach for your hymnal and your Bible. It is now devotional time. Sister DeAndre Bowen is coming to do that part. Hallelujah. Please stand, everybody. While you're standing, find the scripture, St. Matthew 6, reading from verses 1 to 21. Hallelujah. To God. Hallelujah. Good night, everyone. Once more, the scripture will be taken from Matthew chapter 6, reading from verse 1 to 21. Please listen while I read. Take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen by them. Otherwise, you have no reward from your Father in heaven. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you get before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory from men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, that your charitable deed may be in secret, and your father who sees in secret will himself reward you openly. And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your father who is in the secret place, and your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think that they will be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them. For your father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. In this manner, therefore, pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear to men to be fasting. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your Father who is in secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. Verse 21 and last. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Here hence the portion of God's holy world Holy word, sorry, honor by saying amen. The hymn for today will be a prayer, basically, that we always sing as a theme song, Ear will hear and answer prayer. I am praying, blessed Savior, to be more.
of my care. Thou who knowest, thou seest. Hear, O oh, hear, and answer prior to God be the glory. Great and wonderful things he has done. It's now time for the welcome. I am going to ask you just put your hands above your head. And just welcome the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Just give him a resounding applaud. Just applaud the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And while you're giving another applaud, just shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Our pastor, we welcome you, Reverend James Lewis. Bless you, sir. Welcome into the house of the Lord. I want to welcome the musicians. I want to welcome members of the praise team. I want to welcome the choir. I want to welcome the faithful brethren who have been always here time after time. Put your hands together for yourselves. Clap yourselves. Without you, the house would have been empty. Be grateful that God given you the opportunity to be in the house. Welcome. We also have some ushers in the house. Welcome also. Welcome ushers. Children, welcome children. Welcome counselors, men and women. Welcome those who online. Welcome to tune in to the Glen Devon week of prayer. The word of God to the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And when we pray, mountain can be moved. When we pray, shackles can be broken. When we pray, hearts can be delivered. When we pray, fellow members, family members, neighbors, friends, co-workers can be saved. When we pray, God answers prayer. Welcome everyone to the sounding of our voices. We're here to lift up the name of Jesus. Feel free to lift up God. Claim your deliverance in your bedroom. Claim your deliverance on your veranda. Claim your deliverance wherever you are. Because God is in no distance of prayer. Only believe and it shall be done. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. The speaker is not here yet, but the welcome will be extended, sir. When he or she arrive, welcome. To God be the glory. Thank you, Sister Dani, for taking us through prayer. Thank you, Sister Deandra, for the devotional exercise. God bless you. And I'm going to ask you now to stand with me, please, as we go into the theme song. Prayer Bells of Heaven, which is found 276. Prayer bells of heaven, oh, sweetly very, very a message unto Jesus, the King of glory, when you are burdened down with troubles and care. Okay. 
troubles and care. Ring on and don't fall, God will answer your prayer. Keep ringing, they ring a message unto Jesus, the King of glory. When you are burdened down with troubles and care. tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you. Praise the Lord. Shall we continue to praise the Lord? Aye. Shall we continue to make some noise for Jesus? Stand. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. Hallelujah. I am under the rock. 
The rock is higher than I. Yeah. Jehovah, hide me. Hey, hey, hey. I'm under the rock. Oh, oh tell my enemies I that I'm am. under the rock. Jesus, 
It feel every longing in my life. I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. You're the dearest friend on whom I can depend. He is bright as the morning stars. You're the fairest of 10,000. Indeed, you're the rock of my salvation. Hallelujah. When I move straight into the night's offering, may I ask the ushers please to come on in. And you're just going to bless the Lord with what you have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Oh, wave your hand. Just wait. Don't be tired of praising God. Don't be tired of saying thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You alone is worthy to be praised. You alone is worthy to be glorified. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As we collect the night's offering, we're just going to sing this song. In the rock, I'll hide. In the shadow, I will abide. When the storms of lives are raging over me in the rock. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, isn't the storms are raging, people of God? Can't you see the storms raging? Bow your heads. Please stand with me. Stand with me, please. Stand, stand, stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless the night's offering as your people stretch towards giving kingdom here on earth. May you bless and sanctify. May the name of the Lord be exalted in your giving. Oh, hallelujah. May you, may you pay that bill. Oh, God, may you write off that, that doctor bill. Oh, whatever the bills are, when we sow in the house of God, our reward is great. And so in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the blessed Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In the rock, I'll hide. In, In the, the shadows, I will abide. When the storms of life are raging over me. In the rock, in the rock, I'll hide. Oh, in the rock, I'll hide. Oh, I will abide when the storm. 
and praise the Lord in the house. Oh, somebody glorify God tonight. Hallelujah. Hide me, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Somebody said, I am under the rock. The rock is higher than high. Jehovah, guide me. I'm under the rock. Go tell my enemies. I'm under the rock. Jehovah, guide me. Come on, are you being guided tonight? Are you in the rock, under the rock, covered by the rock? And this rock is who? Jesus. Somebody call him by his name again. His name is a wonderful name. A sweet name. I just love the name of Jesus. God is in this place tonight. And whenever God is among us, then we have liberty, not true? To sing and shout and to dance. In the Holy Ghost. Please be seated for a minute or two. Or three or four. Oh, hallelujah. Touch me, Lord. Mm. Mm. Lord God. My God, my God. Don't, like, don't, don't stop it. Don't stop. Don't stop. It's like a runaway train tonight in the Holy Ghost. Don't stop. Don't stop praising your God. Don't stop worshiping your God. Don't stop glorifying the Almighty God. Oh, the Bible says, let everything that hath breath praise the, the Lord. I greet you well tonight. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. I greet the, the ministers who are here. The two reads, Reverend Ready, Burn Reed and, and Reverend A. Reed, who just slipped out a while ago. Put your hands together for them. Two wonderful servants of the, of the Lord. We were here last night and God ministered unto us and we are confident that he will speak to us tonight. My cup is full and my cup is turned up, brother. But every day I have to get a refill. Amen? So fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come on, quench the thirsting of my, my soul. We are actually in the preacher's time because we want to give the preacher enough time to preach and that you can go home. 
Last night we were here, rain fell right through the service. But God was with us. And we are confident that he will be with us tonight. I know that you are wondering tonight. Now that we have two dynamic preachers sitting on the restroom, who will be the speaker for tonight? But if you should see the both of them again, after tonight, you won't be asking who will be the speaker. Amen? Because tonight will make everything clear in the name of Jesus. We are blessed tonight with a, a true servant of the Lord who hails from the, the district of Tower Hill in St. James. He's a past student of Cornwall College. He gave his life to the Lord at a tender age. He received his ministerial training at the Assemblies of God Bible College, where he obtained a diploma in Bible and theology and further study at the Caribbean School, where he obtained a Bachelor's of Heart degree in Bible and and theology. Reverend Reed served the Assemble of God in Jamaica for 18 years in pastoral ministry. He also served as regional pastor and county secretary. Reverend Reed is now serving as assistant pastor at Lucy New Testament Church of God. He's married to Reverend Kenesha Mm. Redburn Reed. Reverend Reed is a, a servant at heart, and he believes that only what we do for God will last. I know that we are all trying to do things for the Lord. Amen. But you will not regret it at the end of our days here on earth. Brothers and sisters, I'm proud to to have our servant minister with us tonight to share the word. I invite our choir to give us the selection. And when they are through singing, I ask you to stand and receive Reverend Alistair Reed as he comes to, to break the bread of life with us. Put your hands together for the choir. Praise the Lord. Stand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. There's a land beyond the river. Hallelujah. You get it, sir? Amen. Hallelujah. One, two, three. There's a land beyond the river that we call the sweet forever. And we only reach the shore by faith's degree.
Hallelujah. Can somebody praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Amen. Can somebody give God worship in this house? Amen. When they ring those golden bells for you and me. Praise God. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Truly tonight it's good to be in God's house. Amen. Amen. No better place to be than in the presence of the Lord. Amen. The word, the song declare, in God's presence, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hands, there are pleasures forevermore. Oh, what fellowship divine. I am his, and he is mine. In God's presence, in the presence of the Lord, there is deliverance. There is victory. There breakthrough take place in the, in, in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Sicknesses are healed. Amen, somebody. Demonic forces, hallelujah. Those who are possessed will be, the, the demons will be, we will release from them in the name of Jesus. They will be delivered. Amen. Praise God. And I'm sure tonight that God has been doing great things in this, uh, these services. Amen. 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 Praise be to God. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. I want to extend greetings to the host, Pastor Bishop Lewis, and family, and all the workers, leaders, and in this wonderful church of God. Amen. Amen. Truly, it's good to be here, and it's good that I am not alone. I have... My back it is with me. Amen. Praise be to God. I give God thanks for my wife. Amen. Truly my strongest supporter. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. My friend. Amen. Somebody. Amen. My confidant. Amen. My everything. Amen. Somebody. I give God thanks for her. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. She's always there looking out, pushing me, guiding me. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We look out for each other. Amen. 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 Praise God. Although she's a better speaker than I am. Praise be to God. Amen. When I grow up, I want to be able to preach like her. Praise God. Sometimes I wonder how she do it, but... Praise be to God. Surely, as I said, it's good to be here, and I'm sure the better preachers, they have gone already. Amen. And the others who will be more better than I am, they will be coming after me. Amen. But I'm going to do my part. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Please bear with me. Amen. You know, over there in Lucy, we embarking on our... Ten crusade, praise be to God. 
God is doing mighty things over there. Amen. People have given their hearts to the Lord. Praise God. So they are there at this, um, even as I speak, um, winning souls for God. Yes, I'm hearing, buddy, but my mind is also there also. Amen. Amen, <laughs> somebody. Praise be to God. But it's good to be here. And thank you, Pastor, for the opportunity. And I greet those who are watching online. I greet you also in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Praise God. The theme for your service is deliverance through prayer. Amen. And I'm sure God has came true for many of us. Amen. Wonder if there's anybody in this house, you pray and God delivers. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, praying. Rest the weary. Prayer will change a night today. So, when life gets dark and weary, don't forget to pray. Oh, pray in rest the weary. Prayer will change the night today. So, when life gets dark and dreary don't forget to pray come on clap your hands and tell a neighbor neighbor don't forget to pray amen that's a very old one amen praise be to god amen somebody Amen. Very old one. I notice some many of you don't know it. Amen. But that sometimes the Baptist in me comes out. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Wonderful song. If you have your Bible, turn to Mark chapter, not Mark, Matthew chapter 17. Sorry. We're going to read from verse 14 to 21. We are going to talk about deliverance through prayer. Amen. Father, I give you worship. I give you praise. I give you honor. Lord, as I'm about to bring forth your word, I ask God that you will just minister through me, mighty God, to your people in the name of Jesus. God, touch me from the crown of my head to the sole of my, my feet. Oh, God, I thank you, Lord God, that you are my strength. You are my comforter. You are everything. And I'm depending on you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mark chap Matthew, sorry, chapter 17. Praise be to God. Reading from verse 14 to 21. And in this passage of scripture, we see where Jesus was transfigurated in front of his, this, the disciples when he went up on the mountain and all the wonderful, the glory of God came down and, and the, Peter, James, and John saw how the, the light that shone around him and all those things. Amen? But it, matter, it doesn't matter how high we get in God, there are times when we have to come back down. Amen, somebody? And sometimes when we come down from out of a service like this, we are going to face difficulties. We're going to face challenges. We're going to face some things and we may wonder how is it God, how... How we pray and it seems as if nothing now go on or nothing now happen. Amen, somebody. So from verse 14, it reads us. And when they come down to the multitude, there came to him a man, a certain man, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and sore vexed. And oftentimes he falleth into fire, and oftentimes into water. Verse 16. And I brought him to thy disciples. 
and they could not cure him. I brought them, I brought him, sorry, to, the, to your disciples and they could not cure him. In other words, I, as I paraphrase, I bring him to church. And not no go on. There are many people who may come to church and not no go on. And sometimes they leave church and go somewhere else and nothing still no go on. Amen, somebody. But in the name of Jesus. When we pray, hallelujah, something must take place. Amen, somebody. We must see miracles. We must see God showing up. Amen, somebody. Amen. So let me run on reading. So if the, the man brought the lunatic boy to his disciples and nothing Happen. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil and, depart, and, and, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart. And said, why could not we cast out? Cast him out. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. Amen, somebody. Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, he shall say unto this mountain, Remove hands to yonder places, and it shall be removed, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit, this kind goeth out, goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. The word of the Lord. Amen, somebody. Victory through prayer. Or deliverance through prayer. Deliverance is an act of being deliv of delivering someone or something. Amen, somebody. We are all accustomed, are all acquainted with the word deliverance. Amen. Amen, somebody. Some of us, we go to deliverance service. And these days, we we'll have, have all sort of service. Amen, somebody. All sort of service. Everybody seeking for deliverance. Even some things that I'm sure some of us will never get deliverance from. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Come on, somebody. Because sometimes there are some things that we pray about. And ask God to move. And ask God to take it. It's not going to move. Oh Lord have mercy. Come on somebody. It's not going to move. So deliverance often has a religious connotation. But the word deliverance, deliverance can be also used for other kinds of rescue and liberation. When we look on Jamaica. Jamaica gain independence in 1962. Amen, somebody. Some of you who are here, you understand, you know what I'm talking about. Amen, somebody. Praise be to God. You know, J Jamaica was op um, operated under the, the, the Britain government, the British government. Amen, somebody. And there comes a time when they have to let go Jamaica. Amen, somebody. 
allow us to be independent. Amen, somebody. I'm sure that comes through a lot of um, constitutional changes and all those things uh, and all those ramifications. Amen, for us to be independent. Amen. Independent, being in an independent nation, it means that a constitution or a symbol or a emblems or an army or and passport and all those things would have to be developed. When someone or something is delivered, there has to be a change. Amen, somebody. If we are delivered, there has to be a change. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. There has to be a change. Because we, when someone is in slavery and they become free, amen, somebody, there are certain freedom, there are certain opportunity that that person will have. Hallelujah. I remember when he's, um, they were in Egypt, Israel was in Egypt's bondage. Amen. And they came through and all those things. The Bible tells us that and they crossed over the Red Sea. Miriam took the timbrel and she began to rejoice and play her timbrel because of how God delivered them from the hands of fear. Amen, somebody. There has to be a change when the deliverance is in the house. When deliverance is in our life, there has to be a change. No more chains holding us. Amen, somebody. The things that so easily beset us, uh, we, doesn't matter, we don't matter about that. We continue to run the race because what? We are delivered. Can I say to you, if you have never been bound, you cannot understand what I'm talking about. And you know, we have a lot of people, even in church, still not delivered. Oh, Lord. Amen, somebody. Still not delivered. Still not free. Jesus was walking through and he touched a, a, a blind man. Amen. And he said, what do you see? He said, you know what? Me see men like trees. Hello, somebody. Walking. The Lord has to touch him. Lord God Almighty. Sometimes we have to get another touch. Oh Lord have mercy. Come on now somebody. Hallelujah. There are times in order for us to fully um, um, understand and experience the delivering power of God. God have to touch me again. I'm sorry for those persons who just can't um, satisfy with just one touch. Hallelujah. Lord, I hear one song right. I said, touch me again, Lord. Touch me again. This moment, I feel for a fresh touch from thee. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Lord, touch me. I'm talking about deliverance. If we're going to be able to understand or receive that deliverance that prayer gives, we have to understand what is deliverance. Deliverance. It means to be set free. And because of what took place on August 6th, Jamaica continued to celebrate that act of independence and deliverance. Let us take it to a spiritual context. Because we are all delivered from sin. Sin held us captive. Amen somebody. Until one day we accept Jesus Christ as our personal savior. I wonder if anybody remember the day. You remember the time. You remember the place. 
God Almighty. When the Lord reached down. Oh, God Almighty. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I can tell you the day. I can tell you the time. Oh, God, I can tell you the minute. Because when we experience deliverance from sin, it is something that we feel. We, we, we may not be able to explain it. I remember the day when he touched me. I remember the place. I can tell you right down there in King's Chapel. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. When the Lord reached down his hands and touch me and deliver me from sin. One of the greatest deliverance that anyone can experience is deliverance from sin. I want to say to somebody, some the songwriter said, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. We get so confused about deliverance. Amen, somebody. And church, let us not be confused. Because a lot of people, they will come to a service uh, and we pray for them. Uh, and they, are, they say, quote unquote, they are delivered. And sometimes they come back with the same problem. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Come on, somebody. Talk to me, somebody. Come back with the same problem. You know those type of people. Oh, God. But tonight, there has to be deliverance through our prayers. In the text that is set before us, we see here a story. We see here a man who had a son. The Bible, he, he, he said his son was a lunatic. Amen, somebody. He will throw himself in the fire and sometimes he will throw himself in the water. Amen, somebody. The Bible says he brought this child to the disciples. And the disciples could not manage the situation. Is it that the disciples did not have power? Because the Bible tells us uh, he has given us power to trample upon the enemy, to step on scorpion, to walk on scorpion, to trample the devil under our feet. The Bible says, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. But sometime it would appear or it seems as if it don't matter how we pray. It's like nothing now. Oh Lord have mercy. Oh Lord. People are getting delivered. People are getting healed. And this man brought his son to the disciple and not no one. Can you imagine how frustrating he might, he, he might have been? How disappointed he might have been. But thanks be to God. We have someone in the house. I'm glad Jesus was unseen. Hallelujah. I'm glad Jesus was in town. Hallelujah. Can I say to somebody, pastor cannot do it. Prayer warriors cannot do it. It's only faith in Jesus Christ. I hear the song said, touching Jesus is all that really matters. And your life will never be the same. There is only one way to touch him. And that's why sometimes some people come to church and they get disappointed because they put their faith and trust in man. Oh Lord have mercy. Come on somebody. They put their faith and trust in man. We put our faith and our trust in preachers. And we don't put it in God. Oh Lord have mercy. Come on now somebody. And sometimes when nothing happens, we start to blame the church. We start to blame our one another. But tonight I want to tell somebody that your deliverance is not in the olive oil. 
Your deliverance is not in the water. Your deliverance is in Jesus. And we are reaching a stage in Christendom when material things and symbols are take, is taking the place of faith in God. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Come on, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. We're talking about deliverance. And the only way we're going to get deliverance is through prayer. Faith in God. Not faith in man. Amen, somebody. Pastor, you have some people that now come to church, you know. But if you invite certain preacher, oh Lord have mercy, come on or somebody, come on or somebody, come on or somebody. If you invite certain preacher, church full, hallelujah, come on somebody. And sometimes when nothing no go on, we get frustrated. He said, I brought, hallelujah, Lord have mercy, the child to your disciples. And nothing, no, are you the disciple he brought him to? He didn't bring him to Jesus. Let me tell you something when you have your problem. Take your problem to the Lord and leave it there when you take it to the Lord he will answer he will come true for you so nothing happened nothing happened there were some hindrances can I ask the question. The question tonight. What are the hindrances? Oh Lord. Oh Lord have mercy. What is stopping your deliverance? What is stopping your breakthrough? What is stopping for us to see the glory of God moving in this atmosphere? There are things that can prevent deliverance the bible said Daniel the Lord said to Daniel Daniel from the day you pray the answer came but the prince of Persia oh lord have mercy come on now somebody amen somebody some of the hindrance to deliverance are demonic. Demonic strongholds. And that's why church, we have to know how to pray. The Bible says we must pray in season and out of season. We must pray with all kinds of prayer. Hello, somebody talk to me now, somebody. There are times when we have to forget about the petition prayer. And start to go into some deep spiritual warfare. Come on, now somebody. Come on, now somebody. When we see that hell want to come in on us. When we see hell want to influence us. When we see hell want to hold us down. We have to develop that, that, that habit and that purpose and that determination. That when we pray, no demonic influence over Glen Devon is going to prevent the prayer from reaching God and from the answer to come. I believe that there are some prayers that have been prayed, but some demonic stronghold, some demonic influence, um, preventing the prayers, um, the preventing the answer. But tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, um, and the one prayer we pray, God Almighty, come on us somebody. And the one prayer we pray, we pray in a night, we pray in a day. And I'm going to give God thanks because my deliverance is coming. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Can I say to somebody, pray without ceasing. All where you not see, happen, no stop pray. Pray until something happen. Pray until the light shine true. Don't give up now, church of God. Don't give in now, church of God. 
Push, Lord God Almighty. Push, Lord God Almighty. Push, Lord God Almighty. Push in your prayer. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. Somebody said no weapon. No weapon. Church, we must know when we're going to war fear. When the devil wants to block us. When the devil wants to stop us. When the devil wants to take charge. Hello, talk to me now, somebody. We cannot just come in. We must know when the devil come in and want to have his own will. And tell him, say, no, this is holy ground. This is holy ground. And every prayer that is offered up is sanctified, is holy. So when the prayer going up and the answer coming down, no prince of Persia, no prince in a, in a lady, no prince in a Glendevan, no prince in Tower Hill, Lord God Almighty, no prince in Norwood, no prince in Lucy, Lord God Almighty. Lord have mercy, you have to see with me, you have to see with me. Because there are some places where we pull down some strong wall. Hello, somebody, come on, somebody. Let me tell you something, the church have power. The church have authority, come on, somebody. Hello, talk to me now, somebody. Anything you don't want in Glen Devon. The church have power. Hello, somebody. The church have authority. The Bible says, whatsoever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatsoever we loose on earth is... Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody said deliverance must come. Victory must come. Freedom must come. Hello, somebody. You know, I give what I give God thanks. I thank God for the gift of the Spirit. And there are different gifts. You mean somebody? And Church of God, if deliverance is going to take place, we have to fund the gifts of the Spirit in flame. Hello, somebody talk to me now, somebody. Because you're going to be time when people's feet uh, is going to shake. Hello, talk to me now, somebody. But there has to be somebody who the Lord will anoint with the gift of faith. Uh, who will be able to say, no, no, no. We are not going under. My God say we shall go over. In the name of Jesus, I wish the gift of the Holy Ghost. Uh, we we'll begin to manifest in Glen Devon again. We we'll begin to manifest in the lives of his believers in the name of Jesus. The gifts. Somebody said the gifts. If deliverance is going to take place, church of God, the gift of the spirit must be evidence in the church. Hello, talk to me now, somebody. Not only speaking in tongues. Hello, talk to me now, somebody. See it have to be there. Healing have to be there. Prophecy have to be there. Hallelujah. Discernment of spirit has to be in the church. In the life of the church. Hello. Hello. Deliverance. Sometimes we come at church, church bone. Lord have mercy. Come on, now somebody, church tie up. Lord, the devil tie up the worship. The devil tie up the board. The devil tie up the choir. You want minister, you can minister. Hello, somebody, you want to deliver, you can deliver. I pray that there will be deliverance. I pray that something will be loose. I pray everything what the devil tie up will be loose. In the mighty, exalted name of Jesus. Somebody say loose. Hello, hello, come on, somebody. 
when someone come to church uh, they must be able to experience the power of God when they walk in they must sense the presence of God hallelujah when they step in my God almighty I don't care what they came to do if they come from mash up church uh, when they come in they must encounter a power that will be able to cause them to bow to God and change that mindset uh, and change that motive church we need to get back to that place Deliverance. 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 God Almighty Church need deliverance. Lord have mercy. These days we get so sophisticated. We tie up in all sorts of things. But I hear the word of God say, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If there's gonna be deliverance, there has to be transformation. 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 They brought this boy to the disciple. So many times people come with us, come to us with different situations. Oh Lord have mercy. Come on, somebody. I how you deal with it. Oh Lord, people come and sometimes it's an opportunity. God is, is an opening. Hello, talk to me now, somebody. Hello, talk to me now, somebody. It's an opening, hallelujah. It's an opening for you to minister. It's an opening for you to share your faith. It's an open for, opening for you to show the power of God. To demonstrate the power of God. To demonstrate the glory of God. To demonstrate the anointing that God has placed upon our life. And there are times when we miss out. Uh, we lose out. Uh, we are just like the disciples. The other disciples uh, amen somebody. Who, who they brought the little boy to. I noticed the disciples did something. They start to evaluate the situation. Oh Lord have mercy. Come on now somebody. Evaluate. Pastor sometimes we have to evaluate. Oh God now move what they happen. Oh Lord, how we they pray? What they happen? Hello, somebody. Nothing now go on. Hello, somebody. Talk to me in the church. Uh, the church spent whole week pray, and it's like nothing no go on, and we no hear nothing from God. Hello, talk to me now, somebody. Hello, somebody. He, he, he didn't tell you know, you know, this you know, he, he don't speak to us. Um, what is happening? Hallelujah, somebody. So the disciples they start to evaluate. So they took Jesus and said, Jesus, why could we not cast out these demons? Why? 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 Church, sometimes we have to ask why. Why are there so much problem? I think it was Joshua. Went out to battle. And they lost the battle. And Joshua go down the prayer. God said, get up. Get up, Joshua. Search the camp. When trouble is in the camp, it will prevent deliverance. Oh God. Just one get up. Search the camp. Oh God Almighty. Search the camp. Oh God Almighty. Sometimes when you see things not happening, begin to search your life. Ask the Lord, search me, oh God. I know my heart. I pray. Try me. 
dear Savior, I'm talking about things that can prevent uh, deliverance. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Search your life. Uh, created me a clean heart. And renew. Renew a right spirit within me. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. What is preventing the deliverance? What is preventing the response that we are looking for? Why God? Why Lord? Why? Why we couldn't? Yes, uh, you said to us, uh, we should go out uh, and the demons will be in subjection to us. You have given us power, but why? Jesus said, oh, he of little faith. Oh, he of little faith. The Bible says if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, hello, somebody, it takes faith. Come on, somebody. It takes what? Faith. Faith is full assurance in God. Somebody say faith. Unbelief. Unbelief. Sometimes we have a group like this and you'll be, fight, you'll be frightened to know with a prayer about something and you can you there are so much unbelief come on now somebody talk to me now somebody unbelief we don't believe say it can't happen hello talk to me now somebody hello somebody we don't believe it can't happen hello talk to me but if we're gonna see some things happening um, there has to be people of faith uh, and we have to come together and we're gonna believe just as all the church prayed when peter was in prison oh lord have mercy come on somebody unbelief is one of the hindrances When you pray, do you believe? You see, these days we have options. We are so blessed. We have options. Oh, Lord. Remember the days when we didn't have nothing. We didn't have nobody to call. There was no telephone. Hello, talk to me now, somebody. So the only telephone you can talk about is telephone to glory. So you have to go pray and tell Lord me hungry. I say, you know, so you have to tell somebody. Oh Lord have mercy. You have to go provide, you know, Jesus. Hello, talk to me. No, somebody. I wonder if I'm here, the only person things like that happen to. Hello, somebody. When you are in need and you say, Lord, my God shall supply all of my need. And the Lord just speak to somebody and before the day done. Oh Lord have mercy. Because now we have option. We can take up our phone and text and say nothing and go on. Hello, talk to me now, somebody. How you doing? From the some of us, my God, when we ask you how you doing, the way we sound, the other party on the line knows say, mm, 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 mm. then get the message. Hello, somebody, talk to me, somebody. But there are times where you don't have nobody to call. And even when you call some people, sometimes the Lord shut up the arm, um, the heart of mercy. Hello, somebody. Because God wants you to trust him. God wants you to trust him. Hello, somebody talk to me. God wants to get the glory. So sometimes he will delay some things. Someone talk to me now, somebody. And not because it's delayed doesn't mean that it's not answered. Hallelujah, because if God should answer some prayers now, some of us will get in trouble because we're not ready for it. We are not mature for it. And in due time, when God sees that we are ready, he will open the windows of heaven and we're going to see some things start happening. Hallelujah. 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 Too much options. 
God Almighty. Hello, somebody. Come on, somebody. Too much option. First time when people sick, they no run. Go said Mary. They run. Come at church. Hello, somebody. Talk to me now, somebody. God Almighty, Lord, bring back those glorious days, Lord. Hallelujah. Let your showers of blessing, let your power come back. Let your anointing rest upon us, Lord. That when we open our mouth, when we declare some things, my God, it will come to pass. Hello. Lord have mercy. Church, we must be at the place, man. Unbelief. Another thing that prevent deliverance from taking place is unconfessed sin. Why is it not happening? Unconfessed sin, sir. Oh, Lord, have mercy. No, we see everybody else busy, but we not see Phoebe. Oh, Lord, have mercy. When we come at church, we see myself. The Holy Spirit, I stand before a mirror. I'm talking about prayer and deliverance, you know. Because the Bible says if we have a bitterness in our heart, in our here, we could have prayed so till. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Come on, somebody. Oh, Lord, have mercy. We could have prayed so till. You no know, matter how eloquent we are in prayer. If we have a bitterness and resentment and malice and strife and all those things in our heart, my God Almighty, we pray it's not going to be answered. Am I talking to somebody? And in this, this time, my God, we are living in. The devil wants us. There are so many things that is happening. There are so many opportunities. Lord God, for us to have people in our hearts. But we refuse to hold it. We have to forget about some things. We have to ask God to teach us how to love our neighbors. Teach us how to love our friends. Teach us how to cooperate and love and work in unity with our one another. And confess deliverance through prayer. If you're going to see the deliverance, we have to confess our faults one towards another. The Bible says if you have a heart against your brother, what are you supposed to do? Leave your gift. Leave your gift at the altar. Oh God, I'm going to make it right. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Am I talking to somebody in the house? Hello, I'm, talk I'm still talking about prayer and deliverance. Amen, somebody. Because prayer and deliverance these days, my God, if you don't jump and scream and people tell you, say this, they go happen and that, they go happen and that, no, happen and everybody wants something good. Amen, somebody. We all need something good, but there are things that we have to do. Idolatry in the heart. All these things can prevent us from experiencing deliverance through our prayer. The disciples, because of their unbelief, nothing happened. And sometimes we become so confident in ourselves that we believe they are in our own strength. We don't rely upon the Holy Spirit. Some of us, we not really humble, you know. If the Lord speak through we one time and somebody get deliverance, you know, and healing, you know. Amen, my God Almighty. Hello. Hello. If the Lord speak to us and somebody, we prophesy something and it come to pass, you know, we start rely on our own strength. And on our own ability. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. But I'm here to tell us that if we're going to have deliverance, we have to rely on the Lord. We have to rely on the Lord, not in our own strength, 
not in our own strength, brothers and sisters. The disciples, they evaluate the situation. Why could we not cast the demons out? Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. Because of your You know, said the man, unbelief. Your. Oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe the reason why we now see enough things happening in Jamaica, maybe it's because of our unbelief. Your unbelief. Tell a neighbor, neighbor, we could have seen more. But because of unbelief. Oh Lord. Sorry, me now jump up tonight. <laughs> me leave the jump up for the other preacher them. For some time, if jump up no go on, we no call it deliverance. Oh Lord have mercy. Come on, somebody. If nice now nah, make her no deliverance. Hello, somebody. Come on, somebody. Deliverance not come with nice. Deliverance not come with loud shout. Deliverance come when the people start to put their faith and their trust in God. Master, why couldn't we cast these demons out? Because of your unbelief. The disciples who spent years Jesus pouring at them and they still never believe. Oh God Almighty, come on, now somebody talk to me in the church. There are many persons in church, many persons here tonight. Oh God, they're full of unbelief. In a church, but you know, believe. In a church where you don't believe that Jesus can deliver. In a church but you still believe in the rub up. Oh God Almighty, come on now somebody. Come on now somebody. Oh God Almighty, in a church but the ash is still upon the door. In a church and the inch measure is still there. Unbelief. Unbelief. There was this man when he came to Jesus. And Jesus asked him about his son. Yet he believes your son can be healed or delivered. He said, No, no. Lord, help my unbelief. Trust me, there are some situations that we might encounter. You got to take faith in our God. Oh Lord. Holy by faith. Unbelief. Unbelief. Somebody say unbelief. unbelief. That's what is preventing things from flowing. Unbelief. Because of your unbelief. Give me two more minutes. Wow, Lord, help me. Jesus said in verse 20, 21, this kind, I mean, I'm talking about demons. I know demons in the talk about Yasa. This kind of faith only can come through prayer and fasting. Let me tell you something. Demons are already defeated in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. They already know their destination. They already know that they belong in the lake of fire. They belong in hell. Hello, somebody. 
what Jesus is saying here, hallelujah, is not these kind of demons. This kind of fear. To get this kind of fear, hallelujah, is not only coming to church. Oh, Lord have mercy. Come on, somebody. It's not more than, it's more than just a coming in a setting like this. It's personal time with God. Prayer and fasting. Hello, somebody. Talk to me, somebody. We have to be disciplined. Hallelujah. Prayer. Fasting. Hello. I mean, not even the talk about the fasting what pastor called. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Come on. For some of we now fast. Oh, we come at church. Oh, Lord. But pastor, me not me sick and me can't have to take my medication. I know I'm going food alone. You can't fast. You can't say me now I'm going to go TikTok tonight. Oh, Lord. Me now I'm going to go my phone tonight. Oh, God Almighty. Come on. Somebody talk to me. No, somebody. Me go put on the phone tonight. Lord Jesus. Come on. Somebody talk to me. No, somebody. Hello, no excuse in the house. Uh, me have to take my medication so me can't fast. Uh, hello, talk to me now, somebody. Hello, I'm going to put down the phone tonight. Uh, me now I'm going to wash today. Lord have mercy. Come on, somebody. I'm going to spend time uh, with God. Hallelujah. Fasting is depriving ourselves, depriving ourselves from something uh, so that our bodies can come under subjection. Hello, Pastor, me can't fast. You can't fast the phone. Oh, God, turn off the phone for one day. Hello, somebody. Come on, now, somebody. Any emergency, then can reach your neighbor. Hello, talk to me, now, somebody. Hallelujah. We have to spend time in prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. We have to discipline ourselves. When we go and put away something, we go and sacrifice something, we're going to give up something because we want to see the power of God and the glory of God manifesting in our life. Sometimes we have to give up our own ways. We have to give up our own right, Lord God, for things to flow. We have to say, you know what? I am sorry. I want God to manifest. I am sorry. Sometimes we have to disagree to agree, Lord of mercy. You have to give up your rights, Lord God Almighty. I wonder who I'm talking to. You have to give up self deliverance. This kind only come out. This kind of faith. This kind of deliverance, this kind of breakthrough only come by faith in God. And this kind of faith only come when we spend time with God. Hello, talk to me now, somebody. We know wait till when we come to church. We spend time in God's presence. Hello, somebody. Some people, five o'clock a morning, that is all right for you. That's you. Hello, it's about quality time. Hallelujah. If you can't do it early morning, you can't do it midday. Hallelujah. But remember God. Spend time, meditate upon him. Because you know what? I want this kind of faith. God, why can't I move mountain? Ask your neighbor, neighbor, what kind of faith you want? We want faith that can move mountain. Where we can speak to principalities. Where we can say to this mountain of sickness. This mountain of stress. Hello, talk to me now, somebody. This mountain of, 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 of financial difficulties. Hello, somebody. I speak to you in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We command you to drop your weapons and flee for the Lord has given me authority. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Look at your mountain and say the Lord has given me authority. Let me tell you something. The mountain is not your brother or your sister. We do wrestle against flesh and blood or against principalities. But we wrestle against powers. We don't wrestle against with one another. 
Glory to God. So I'm sure there are some of us who recognize some mountains. Some things that are going on in our life. Some things that are going on in our community. Some things going on in our churches. Hello somebody. But thanks be to God there are some people in the house who understand that this kind of faith not just comes so. Hello somebody. Hello. It not just comes so. This kind come through prayer and fasting. So tonight like the disciples let us examine our prayer life. Let us examine our relationship with God. Oh God. Oh God. How effective am I as a Christian? How effective? Tonight is a night where we can experience our deliverance and our breakthrough. But we have to pay attention to the hindrances. I believe that when we, you finish these nights and you come here Sunday morning, church must feel like prayer was offered in this place. Come on, somebody. Church must feel like prayer was offered in this place because our hearts and our life has been touched and transformed. Stand with me tonight. This word is for all of us. And I'm not going to take myself out of it. If you're in this house and you're not a Christian, slip your hands up. If you're not a Christian, I guess everybody here is a Christian. Look around church. Is there, a, is there an unsaved in the house? Is there a backslider in the house? Praise God. So we are all saved. Lift your hands to God and ask the Lord to touch you again so that you can experience that kind of faith that can be able to bring deliverance in your personal life and in the lives of others. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, thank you. Come, Holy Spirit. We need thee. Come, sweet Spirit. We pray. Come in your strength. And in your power, come in your own gentle way. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. Hallelujah. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. Lord, here we are in your presence, Lord. God, we thank you for this time of prayer. For this sweet hour of prayer, Lord. Where we can come before you under the theme, mighty God, deliverance through prayer. Father God, we thank you for delivering us. We thank you for the deliverance that we can experience through, through you, from you, when we pray, mighty God. 
But God, there are times when there are obstacles, there are hindrances to our deliverance. There are hindrances, God, and there are times when our prayers cannot be answered. Because sometimes we are full of unbelief. So God, I come against the spirit of unbelief. We come against that spirit of unbelief. We come against the spirit of unbelief. In the name of Jesus. And God, we pray, God, that faith will arise in this house, mighty God. God, I pray we will release the gift of faith. Hallelujah. In this audience, in this congregation, mighty God. Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise. God, if there's any unconfessed sin, we confess our faults. We confess our sins. Oh, God, before you, Lord, we ask for your washing. We ask for your cleansing. Lord, if there's anyone of art against anyone, I pray, God, that your Holy Spirit will speak to them, Lord. And God, you will give them the right word, Lord God, and the right timing when to approach, mighty God. Oh, God, give us wisdom, knowledge, mighty God. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for divine wisdom. We thank you for divine revelation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, I pray over this congregation, over this community, mighty God. God, I pray, God, that the influence of this church, mighty God, will not go down. But, God, it will rise in this community in the name of Jesus Christ. And, God, people may see the goodness in us, the light of God in us. Our light will shine before men, Lord, and they will see your good works and come to glorify you as Lord and Savior, mighty God. God, we thank you. We praise you. Thank you for every person represented here tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, God, that as they go through this week, mighty God, as they pray, as they hear the word, mighty God, Lord, you will show up, mighty God, and you will bring deliverance, mighty God. Father God, we come against the prince of Persia, every demonic, diabolical, uh, stronghold, and every strong man, Lord, everything that will prevent, Lord God, your, the, your answers to our prayers, mighty God. We pray, God, that it will, be, it will come to pass in the mighty, exalted name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, God, you will just minister to each need, minister to every single person here tonight. If there's anybody sick in body, God, I pray for your healing hands to be upon them, mighty God. Oh, God, release your power to heal in this house. In the name of Jesus, we come against every sickness. In the name of Jesus, we come against everything, every, every hindrance is. In the name of Jesus, we come against every affliction, every afflicting demons. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God Almighty, breathe over this church. Breathe over this church, mighty God. Breathe over this congregation. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, God, I pray for your man's servant. God, I pray we strengthen him and his wife and family, God. Oh, God Almighty, I pray you will lift him higher in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I thank you for divine wisdom, divine revelation. Oh, God, I pray we'll give him visions in the name of Jesus. As he take this church, Lord, as he minister in this congregation, Oh, God, I pray, God, that he will, he will be in a place, Lord, where there is cooperation. In the name of Jesus, I pray that they will cooperate with him. Oh, God Almighty, I pray for the spirit of cooperation. Oh, God, I pray it will be evident in this church. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Yaka shondo ria sandara bakuri ashanai. Yaka sotori endele gada come against every oppo, uh, every street of opposition. My God, I trample I trample every plans of the, that spirit. Oh God, I pray God that they will not oppress. Hallelujah, they will not oppress anymore. They will lose their grip. They will lose their power. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
Father God, I pray God that you will give, Lord God, the gift of the spirit so evident that God, this church, will be able to detect the enemy from afar in the name of Jesus and understand that he come to rob, he come to kill, he come to steal, he come to destroy. But God, you have come, you have come that they might have life. Father God, I pray God that the power will not move from this house. The glory will remain over this house. In the name of Jesus, when people walk in, they will experience your glory. They will experience your power. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray, God, that you will move in this church. Move in this church, mighty God. Move in this church. Move on the membership of this church. Hey, God Almighty, anything that is out of order, I pray, will put it in order even now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ayabako Shandarababa Sandai. In the name of Jesus, everything that wants to get out of order, every spirit of this order, I call you back into order now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you will have no power in this church. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. Every spirit of this order, I rebuke you. 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 I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come in subjection with the power of God. Come in alignment with the power of God. Come in alignment with the glory of God. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You will not prevent the deliverance of God. You will not prevent the move of God. You will not prevent the glory of God to move in this congregation. You will not prevent uh, the plans to come to pass in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every spirit. Uh, I rebuke everything that is not of God. Every plot that is not of God. Every plan that is not of God. Every scheme that is not of God. In the name of Jesus, I enter into your camp. I enter into your camp. And I plead the blood of Jesus. Mm. Mm. Let the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, rest, remain upon this church. In the name of Jesus, divine peace, divine peace. Divine peace, 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 wonderful peace coming down from the Father above. Sweet hope, sweep over Glendevan, sweep over Glendevan, sweep over this church, mighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against every attack, I come against every attack. I come against every attacker. I plead the blood against you. The blood is against you. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Lord of a son did a becoria shana. He could hurry in the becoria shana. He could shock at a rabba he loves us under the curia, the blood of Jesus. He comes under the curia. He loves us under wherever you hide. Oh God, I send the blood, I send the fire, God. He comes under the sato, the curia. You counterfeiting spirit. I blood you up, I blood you up, I blood you up, I blood you up in the name of Jesus. Mako Rababashanai Rababasa Every spirit that will hide under the spirit under the disguise of Christianity and sanctification I bind you up in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that the fire of God will begin to expose some demonic stronghold in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth every agent of hell every familiar spirit I plead the blood against you in the name of Jesus this house belongs to God. This house belongs to God. 
There are called people in this house. There are anointed people in this house. In the name of Jesus, I push back every plan of darkness. I push back every attack over the man of God. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say the blood of Jesus. Somebody say the blood of Jesus. Come on, say the blood of Jesus. Somebody say the blood of Jesus. Somebody say the blood of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Clap your hands and give God praise. Come on, give God praise. Give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Deliverance has come. 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 Freedom has come. Who the sun set free is free indeed. Lift your hands and praise God. Come on in this free atmosphere. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, continue praising the Lord, young brother. Deliverance has come. Come on, receive your miracle. Receive your deliverance. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Come on, don't stop praising the Lord. Let everything that heart breath. Praise God tonight. To God will be the glory. Hallelujah. This kind going not out, but by prayer and fasting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come before you tonight. We thank thee for miracle. We thank thee for deliverance. Here I have, O oh God, this envelope in my hands. Some documents, God, are in it. You know all the documents that are in this envelope right now. I commend them to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, wherever they are going with these documents. I pray for a, a miracle God over this envelope right now. Let your hands be upon it, God. I speak freedom. I speak peace. I speak deliverance in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. And when they stand before the interviewer, oh, hallelujah, let them find favor with them in Jesus name somebody shout favor somebody shout favor somebody shout favor praise the Lord what a word tonight brothers and sisters what a word tonight don't see deliverance through prayer when the saints begin to pray the Lord shall have his way unbelief will stop you. But to get rid of, you know, it's, it's a new thing. To get rid of the unbelief, you have to fast and you have to pray. Put your hands together for Reverend Reed. And Reverend Reed, again, come on, share them very much. I want to thank them very much. Two persons I've grown to love and to, and to respect even when she was in school. Amen. Just love and respect each other. And, you know, we have come working very close to each other. Where I can just reach over and just call her. And she can reach over and do the same. And so we are very happy, Rev. God bless you. May your ministry continue to grow from strength to strength. And may God bind them together with cords that cannot be broken. And may God bind them together with love. Come on, bless them one more time. Praise God. I want to bless every one of you. The officers, the moderator, Sister Diane, you, you did a wonderful job. All the praise team and everybody. 
would have come out tonight. God bless you. We thank those who join us via the social media. May you join us tomorrow night. And those who are not in church tonight, you can make it out tomorrow. You need to come out tomorrow night. And the speaker will be here. Come expecting a miracle from God. Amen, church. And if you are delivered tonight, then we must see the difference. Amen. You cannot be delivered and remain the same. God bless you. Could you please stand? God keep you. Hallelujah. God overshadow you. I want to remind you that the Sunday night will be a Lord's Supper and the washing of the saints' feet. We ask of you, please, to make every effort to be, to be out. Amen, somebody? Amen. After we go through these nights of prayer, then we believe we're going to reach up to the throne of God. Amen. And get all the blessings from the Lord. Raise your right hand tonight. Hallelujah. Just wave that right hand of yours. Service begins 7 p.m. sharp. The preacher will try to put on the preacher by 8 o'clock sharp. Amen, church. And then leave the rest to the Almighty God. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and be gracious unto thee and give thee peace henceforth and therefore evermore. Shall we all say, greet somebody, tell them you love them in Jesus' name. Come and shake the preachers on. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.